Hey there. As you can tell by the title, this is a sounding video. So, I got this from Dave for my birthday and I told him I would use it. So this is Saturday and I was sounding last night and I used it. I'm going to tell you about it. But to start out, <clears throat> I started with these. Because I wasn't about to just stick this in straight away. So, I got these out, got started, and moved on, eventually, to this silicone sounding nail. I won't go into details, but not too many. <clears throat> but I think I've said before, I don't recommend silicone. And there's a reason. It's because, unlike these, which are solid stainless steel and have weight, and all you have to do is lube up this lower part and just let it go, and gravity just does all the work. With silicone, you have to put it in and cram it down your urethra and feed it in, which is, at best, really uncomfortable. Now, I did a video on this before. This is the vibrating urethral plug. You know, you turn back the bell. God, I hope this thing is clean. I haven't used it for a while. It could be better. <clears throat> but with this, I mean, well, you can see the size difference, you know. This is puny compared with this thing. And even this, feeding it in, is uncomfortable. As small as it is, because it's silicone. It's really flimsy. And you gotta, it's like millimeter by millimeter. You gotta feed it in and feed it in and feed it in. And eventually, I don't remember how long that is. I don't remember how long it said it was. But anyway, you gotta feed it in right all the way to the end and then you fold the bell down over the head of your dick so this part this is the vibrator this part vibrates the head of your dick which is awesome and the vibration goes down the silicone this thing doesn't have a vibrator and it was not fun sorry Dave but it was not fun putting this in even though I had prepared myself with a, with a stainless and gotten myself opened. And I went from the smallest one <clears throat> up to this one, worked at it for a, a bit, lubed this up, and still had to cram it in. It was not fun. It did not feel good. This felt awesome. Amazing. Silicone does not. So do yourself a favor. Get yourself of solid stainless steel silicone dilators. It's the way to go. Like I just said, you don't have to do much of anything. Lube up the end, put it in, and just gravity, just, you know, all you have to do is hold your fingers around it to keep it from flopping over, and just gravity just slowly, you know, feeds it in. As long as you're on your back, or if you're sitting up and your dick is pointing straight up. Don't buy silicone. 
It's, this is my PSA for guys who want to try sounding. Don't try it with silicone. I'm experienced, and even I hate it. It still doesn't feel good. This thing, small as it is, still doesn't feel good. Cramming it in. This part up here feels amazing, <laughs> as you can imagine. But I've got a video on this. You can look through the catalog if you want and find it. So that's today's video. Sounding. The do's and don'ts. Don't buy silicone. Not unless you enjoy pain. Now, if you're a masochist, absolutely. Go for silicone, because it's going to hurt. It's going to be unpleasant. At best, it's going to be unpleasant. At worst, you might tear your urethra, and then you're going to bleed. From a place you don't want to bleed. So don't do it. Okay. Give me a like. That's that, uh, you know, thumbs up down there. Comment down below. I know most of you are mute, not capable of typing or speaking. But those of you who are, I appreciate it. Okay, bye.